What is going on everyone? I'm back with another knife review. So it has aluminum frame, a button lock, D2 steel, and a smooth flipping action. Well, if you haven't guessed from the title, it is the Model 451 BLF by Freeman Knives. The designer is Jeff Freeman, and some of you may know of his designs from Gerber Knives. BLF stands for Button Lock Flipper. At the time of this video, this knife can only be ordered through www.freemanoutdoorgear.com. As far as I can tell, uh, Jeff was quick to respond to email and provide an estimated time frame for when my knife was going to be done. When I first took this knife out of the box, I could feel that it was a high quality made and tough folder. Now there are other knives I've handled in the past where my first impressions were, eh, maybe I'll just use it to open letters or chop down cardboard. Not so with the 451. I feel like I can use this much harder than any of my other knives in my collection. True to its name, this knife features a button lock and a flipper. But that's only a fraction of the features. When you order this knife through Jeff's site, you have the option of inserts. You can opt for G10 in a black, orange, or blue. You can also opt for moon glow inserts or a olive drab canvas micarta. I had opted for the olive drab canvas micarta insert. I feel that it sets off the dark tones of this knife very well and serves to add traction to the nice smooth aluminum handles. The 451 seems to be geared toward tough use. The entire knife has a Cerakote firearms coating from blade to handle to pocket clip. This type of coating is said to enhance abrasion and multiple types of wear resistance. Two main features led me to purchase this knife. One, it has a bearing system with the flipper. Now I know technically that's two features already, but I see that they both work together. And two, most importantly, this entire knife was made with American-made parts in the USA at Per Freeman's website. Now why is that last feature so important to me? It's because I appreciate US-made knives. All too often parts or labor are farmed out to other countries, and I like to support the US-made products and indeed all the great US knife makers who are in the States. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that overseas made knives are bad, I just prefer to buy US made knives and products when I can. The 451 has a lot of key features that any user can appreciate. The blade can be deployed and shut with either hand. You can deploy the blade with either the notch in the blade or the flipper, and the flipper and button lock can be operated with gloves on. The pivot features a smooth stainless steel ball bearing system. When the blade is open, there is not a hint of blade play no matter how much I tried to muscle it. The operation of the pivot has a very nice mechanical sound to it. The knife can be opened fast with a flipper or the thumb notch, or just open slowly with just the thumb notch. You can pull back or push down on the flipper, either way will deploy the knife with minimal to moderate force. Detent is on the lighter side so the blade can be shaken out with a firm wrist snap. Deployment is extremely smooth. So smooth, in fact, that I would like to urge the user to be careful when closing the knife. As a guillotine effect when shutting, I like to shut the knife at a slight horizontal angle which will reduce the speed at which it shuts. Now in a vertical angle, the blade slams shut with force if you don't let off the button lock quick enough. Ultimately, it'd be easier just to shut the knife with two hands and probably a lot better too to reduce the chance of injury. So don't say I didn't warn you. I don't want people mess messaging me about lost fingers or any other body, body parts. It can be compared favorably with some of my other fast deploying flippers. The Cerakote gives it that extra protection from normal wear and tear. Now you may have noticed some wear already on the frame, that's because I've already dropped the knife during the recording of this video. It doesn't bother me because this is going to be my EDC. The large lanyard opening will accept 550 paracord for those of you who love lanyards. There's a dice lanyard that comes with the knife, which I will be removing because I don't like to carry with lanyards sticking out of my pocket. The 64AL 4V titanium pocket clip is nice and sturdy, and it doesn't bend out easily. In my experience so far, it does not poke into the palm of my hand if I have to hard grip onto the handle. The clip is milled in key areas that serve to reduce some weight. The button lock is very secure and has been proven on many other types of knives, such as Hogue or Thai knives, to be very strong. The lock is a bit sticky, and that may break in with use, but I'd rather be sticky than slipping. One important aspect of a button lock is that it's easy to operate with gloves on. I like the overall footprint of the knife. It is rather slim and unobtrusive in the pockets or the hand. The blade is 3.7 inches of D2 steel. Now while D2 is not considered to be an exotic steel, it is nevertheless 
a hardworking steel in my experience. Now, as long as it's heat treated correctly, it will provide a long term of use. According to Freeman's site, the blade's hardness is rated at 58 to 60 HRC. The drop point design is a multi purpose use shape. There is also jimping strategically placed on the thumb ramp and handles. And finally, let's not forget about the pricing. At the time of this video, it's selling on Freeman's website for $199.95. For what I consider a custom-made knife, it's not as bad when compared to other knife makers' mid-tech line of knives that could be anywhere from $400 to $600. And some of those mid-techs, the makers have minimal contact with the knife overall. For the pricing, I feel that it's more than fair for the materials and excellent craftsmanship. You are definitely getting a very well-made knife. What can I say? Excellent fit and finish, smooth action bearing pivot, and very fair priced. So what more can you ask for? The 451 BOLF is definitely not a showpiece, but a hard worker that will cut and ask for more. You won't worry about scuffing this one up. It's not going to be some trailer queen to be shown off. This is one to keep consistently in your pockets and used. Thank you for joining me on this video. Always appreciate everyone watching. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. Until next time, take care, and I will catch you on the next one.